waiting so long for this. That is really cool. Whoa, that's so cool. Four zebra pecos right here, right now. You want little flags on them so you can find them. <laughs> yeah. Very, very rare fish. There's the zebs. Drip acclimating them. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today is the most special day, probably on this entire channel, honestly. And I'm shaking around a bit. Um, but bear with me guys. I have just gotten in the, from the airport, four zebra plecos. And these guys are really, really super rare in Australia. Maybe not so much in the US and places like that, but they're literally so hard to find here and I've been waiting years, literally years to find these guys. And I got four of them. It's basically all I could like get. Pretty low on money right now, that's for sure. Scraping the bottom of the barrel, so don't forget to subscribe. Smash just the like button on this video to support me. And yeah, it's just so, so crazy. Like, um, fly on my fish tank. It's so weird. That is really cool. Now the other bag's got two in it, so he did two. Two in each, two in each bag? Yeah. You want little flags on them so you can find them. <laughs> yeah. Little tapes on their tails so that... Let's put that up there. What I'll actually do, because I've got to float them, I've got to take a bit of water out, because when you add more... Oh, yeah, well that's right. And there's two in there. Mm -hmm. This is Ebbs. Well, I got them to you. Finally got them. Okay. Very, very rare fish. Underneath here is the food for them. Boy, he did a good job packing everything, didn't he? He did, yeah. There's his ebbs. He finally came. Angle them a little bit more, like the other way there. This way? Yeah, because the bag's like blurry on one bit. I know. It's blurry because... Yeah, that's better like that. So tiny. They are only like three and a half centimetres. Like, it's just mini ass. Yeah, this is your little mop over here. Yeah. So I was... Yeah. <sighs> I'm hoping they're going to spawn, like, breed in the... But... Like they think they have some sort of weird... I assume... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Female is. Ooh. Females are so small, aren't they?
Whoa, that's so cool. Okay guys, I'm so excited. I picked up four Zebs from the airport just then and the food. And these guys are so rare and I've been waiting like so long to get these guys, just ages and ages. So it's a very special moment for me. But four of these guys, tried to get the two biggest and the two smallest. So I'm assuming these are the smaller ones and those guys are the big ones. So they're pretty small. And I'm gonna have to be really, really like on top of the feeding and stuff like that. And water quality because these guys are so expensive. Like just crazy, crazy expensive. They're like $950 each and they're just so rare. That if you killed one or something goes wrong or something like that, you just they're just too rare. So uh, it's just literally like so excited right now. That stupid duckweed. Stupid duckweed, like so dumb. Zeb there, Zeb's here. You know who you are. Thanks for letting me know about these Sebs and breeding them and sending to them to the shop that I bought them off. It's just so cool to have people that are like that and just help you out. So, so cool. I'm gonna be putting the Zebs in here. Um, yeah, it's just so, so, so exciting. So this guy's about three and a half centimeter mark and they are pretty cute. Pretty healthy. Hoping to grow these guys up to adults. But they're just so, so rare. You have to buy them at such a small size. Um, but it's really cool to just have these little, little Zebs. <laughs> I just like almost want to keep them in the bag. They're just so cute. But obviously I have to get them out of the bag because they've been on the plane and probably Pooping and stuff in the bag, just a little bit. I haven't been in here too long, so it's pretty lively. So I really want them to go down to this structure, but I have a feeling they're probably gonna hide under the sponge filter. Like Like, like the 397s and 201s like to do, but just so, so cool. I don't know, I keep saying that, but to own Zebra Plecos for me is just, it's pretty dope. So guys, I'm so excited. I have Zebra Plecos, four Zebra Plecos right here, right now. And it's pretty awesome. And I'm just floating them at the moment. Real funky. And I'm probably gonna drip acclimate them, honestly. So I just washed out this little tub. So there we go, got all the zebs in there. <sighs> so stressful. So the water's pretty cold in here, but that's just cause they've been in the bag for a little while. Where's my fish room tea towel? Okay, so they're actually sort of similar temperature now. I'm just gonna film the Zebs, different angle. So here's the Zebs. It's hard to see because of the reflection, but there's another Zeb over here. So I've just drip acclimating them. Um, not really drip, a bit faster than drip, but if I put my hand down next to them, you can just see how tiny these guys really are just so small now I won't put my hand in there too much but just so awesome So here's my four Zebs, drip acclimating into their new aquarium. Here's the tank I set up for them. We've got some caves, some slanting slate. I've heard that they like to jam themselves in little crevices to hide from 
other bullies, but they're in by themselves. Um, or even bullying each other. And it's all planted nicely, because it runs by a sponge filter and a canister filter. So lots of filtration. Um, we've got right beside them, some cool fish over there. Got plenty of hiding spots in there. I can always add more. Um, so, yeah, so very, very cool. So, they've been drip acclimating for a while. I'll probably just leave it just for a little bit more, just for safety reasons. So, it looks like temperature's 27.2 in there, and I'm just gonna test the temperature in here as well. Just real quick, it's obviously gonna be higher. I'm guessing it's 28 and a half degrees. But yeah, stay tuned. Hello. Are you in there? Yep. No, no, no. I'm just acclimating them now. But I'm about to add them. Okay. So. so here's our Zebs. They're in their new aquarium. Might be able to see their little mounds. See how dirty that little bristlenose bucket is? I was freaking out because I thought it was an ammonia spike and all the fish would be dead, but I it's just all the crazy amounts of zucchini. Hey guys, so I just fed the zebra plecos and well, I put food in front of them basically. Just some discus bio gold. I don't know if they'll eat it, but we'll soon find out. But yeah, I'm going to bed now. So excited.